fan bases are bullshit. Let us think him for a minute. Right, so what we're getting at is the majority of fan bases, well, not the majority, like a handful of fan bases are starting to become a bit bullshit. I've been watching more, a few YouTube videos recently, and for some reason, oh, let's just stick it together. Ugh, that's better. And it's ugh, to make me want to go, oh my god, this is bullshit. And that's why I'm making this video. Um, I'm going to be focusing on two fan bases, and I happen to be a part of both of them. I can't stop scratching my nose for some reason. Ugh. So, uh, basically, as you know, there's this. The, yeah, the fan bases I'll be focusing on are Five Nights at Freddy's fan base and the Sonic the Hedgehog fan base. How original. Um, first, I'm going to start with. Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not even going to edit something in here, so why am I putting my hand up? Right. I already had another drink. <laughs> right, so, um, Five Nights at Freddy's fan base. Um, I thought it was a cool fan base until F Five Nights 3 was released. And everyone started calling bullshit, saying he was rushing his games too much, especially when Final Fantasy 4 came out. Um, yeah, and when I say him, I mean Scott Cawthon, because, you know, he's the creator, he's great. I actually love this guy so much. And my tablet just gave me a notification. You probably picked that up, maybe not. I don't give a shit at this point. Oh, the microphone's there. I thought I had the tablet upside down. Um... Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, when you pl and basically you've probably all heard about the Five Nights at Freddy's world um, being released and I was looking forward to it, I was waiting for it to come to Android so I can play for myself and I saw that it had been removed off of Steam because I was watching um, Doco on YouTube I look like a robot here Basically, um, Five Nights at Freddy's World was removed because, well, at first it wasn't removed. Um, Scott apologised to everyone who purchased it because they were right, the game was incomplete, it was missing so many features and everything. You can see the camera reflecting in my fucking glasses. I got distracted, sorry. But yeah, he was sorry and then released some patches and then it was removed because of things that were happening like people saying it was absolute shit after playing it for like a minute saying it was a bare bones RPG which I admit it was kind of bare bones it could have had a few other features that like a better story to start with because I watched Doco play like it for one or two parts and I was already lost and I tend to pay attention to the story quite a bit especially when it comes to Sonic games that I'm going to get into in a minute later. Hell, I even pay attention to the story in Mario games where it's basically non fucking existent until Seven Stars. <sighs> now, um, when it was removed, he was saying, um, I'm, I know there's been positive reviews, but unfortunately, um, the results were extremely negative ones, and I pulled it off. And everyone's going to get refunded, which. And then he said, "It's go after I finished everything, including 3D worlds and every like fully 3D map and everything. It's going to be free for everyone on Game Jolt." And to this, I say, "What the fuck, FNAF fan base? I mean, seriously, I, I'm one of those people that like appreciates everything this guy's made out. Hell, I love three to death." That's one of my favourite Final Fantasy Freddy's next to two. <sighs> Seriously though, um, what the fuck? You, people who played it for like a minute and criticised it, hell, someone left a comment saying they bought it for their friend and said that their friend accused them of cyberbullying. 
Now, if you've seen my bullying video, you know how much I fucking hate bullying. But seriously, it the whole thing was like this. This is shit. And that's what people were thinking. Hope you like the little thing I did. Seriously though, if you thought if you played it for like a minute and thought it was shit, then obviously you don't like RPGs. Cause I mean, then again, it's not exactly a good RPG. I've played a few RPGs, but I'm not going to get into that at the moment. <sighs> um, basically, I'm think it's kind of like you know how Five Nights at Fuck Boys Four was cancelled because the fan base were pestering the woman. It's kind of like that. Only the thing was released, and people are bullshitting. I mean, seriously, if you actually give something a chance you might like it hell at first i didn't like oh what the fuck was it called or uh, call of duty i didn't like that until i started playing the zombies and i found out i really enjoyed that part of the game i deviled into multiplayer but that was it zombies was really where it was at for me i know that's not a good example but still you get what i mean it's absolute bullshit and um they need to get it together now Let's look at the Sonic fan base. Jesus Christ. I'm part of the Sonic fan base as well. And I'm not the one that's like, I think everything that's pumped out is shit. Um, Rise of Lyric though made me look twice. Hold on. I, but from someone who actually liked Sonic 06 when they got it, and I know probably you're gonna probably, and like the people that actually watch my videos in the comments are gonna be like, no, that's a shit game, you should never have played it. To that I say, I played it because I didn't know it was supposed to be bad until I actually um, got my own computer. And people said it was absolutely horrible, I did not know that what they were talking about. And I just continued playing it until I lost the disc. How do you think about that internet? And then there's people saying, like, games that were good, like Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure, games that I grew up, well, the first one I grew up with on the PC, the DX port, and I later got into Sonic Adventure 2, and they were great, actually, <laughs> I love them, but people are picking them apart now, because it's, it's because ever since, it's the, uh, ever since Boom Rise of Lyric got roasted to death, they've started picking apart other things because it's the cool thing to do. I mean, they lash out at each other as well. I mean, it's like this. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle is one of the best games ever. You fucking take that back. And that's how most fan- that's how Sonic's fan base is working. And they're asking for too fucking much. Um, why can't you just settle with things like I know Sonic 06 was a bad game, hell, I thought it wasn't the best game ever, but I still played it because I enjoyed it. I'm actually glad I had this here, so I've got less of a dry throat. Um, but seriously, Sonic Unleashed, everyone said it was the worst thing ever. Give it a few, give it like a year or so, oh, it's the best thing that's ever fucking happened. You can't make your minds up. Okay, let's start the list, you can't make your minds up. You criticise everything until a few years later. You love something, then hate it after a few years. You're picking apart generations for no fucking reason. When, and you you can't settle on something you want. Like, you said, bring back 2D. They brought it back. Oh, there's too much 2D. And it shouldn't, then, then it shouldn't be like Modern Sonic. Sonic Lost World. Oh, it should, it's not like Modern Sonic anymore. Make your fucking minds up, you dumb pricks. I mean, seriously. If you want an example of a good fan base, the Mario fan base. And I know you're thinking, oh, that's bullshit, you're part of the Sonic fan base. I'm part of both. I'm part of several fan bases, though I don't post it much. Seriously, though, for the Mario fan base, it's good. You just need to, like, add one power up and everyone's happy. And that's it. That's how it works. Five minutes. And 
stomach fan base. Oh, you have to add this, 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 this. Take away that. Add a little more of this. Take this, this, and that away. Better graphics so it doesn't look like it's made from the fucking PlayStation. Make it better than Mario, and then we'll be happy. We, the Sonic fan base does know what they want, but if it's not, but if it's not the exact what they want, then they'll go ape shit. I'm beginning to regret being a part of the Sonic fan base. Hell, I didn't even grow up with Sonic, and it's my f- preferred character. <sighs> Seriously, this has reminded me of what happened with the Resident Evil thing. They calmed down, but they absolutely hated when Five came out because it was too action oriented, and you can't keep something continuously the same. Sometimes, I mean, Silent Hill. Is supposed to be scary, that's that. Resident Evil was a bit more action oriented than that, especially with, in 2's case, when you could like use the infinite ammo code or you could like carry the magnum as your main weapon after you stocked up some ammo. And it made it less scary, it made it more fun in my opinion, but then again, I'm more of an action gamer. I like Resident Evil, but not too much. I got revelations from my 3DS and I still haven't started it yet. Seriously though, people that are like, hold on, water, um, people that are saying that they should go back to the tank controls and the pre-rendered backgrounds, I say that's kind of fucking stupid. I mean, they've refined the controls, yes. They've re how they've done a re-release of Resident Evil Zero recently. I think no, wait, it's either coming out or it's going to or it is coming out. I can't remember because I'm not being on my PlayStation Network for a few days. I've been only using my PlayStation for YouTube and Netflix at the moment. Seriously though, if you're going to criticize the company for trying to please you, and they just fuck it up by accident, then they're probably going to stop with it eventually. I've not done too much research on this because, you know, I have a life. Not I'm not going against anyone who does this kind of stuff. Hell, look at Matt Pat. He's awesome. But, you know, but all in all, I think it's just bullshit that you think, oh, I'm going to rip on this because, you know, I'm going to get away with it. I think it's cool. Hey, it's a new thing now. Or you're just ripping on it to be a bastard to someone else. I mean, as soon as FNAF World's re-released, I'm going to get it myself, no matter what people say, I'm just going to play it and be happy about it. I will, I'm going to be happy that it's free, but I would have preferred to buy it, because, you know, that would have meant that Scott didn't have to buckle under its fan base. I mean, it's absolutely stupid. But, I think this is going to be the end of the, vid- uh, end of the video here. As well as a smug and like comment subscribe whatever you want to do if you leave a dislike I won't care <laughs> this is going to be TGM signing off